I'm Sarah Birch with Kingsmith News and here are your top headlines today, August 23rd, 2024. Those attempting to use the Wolf Island Ferry for their commute were put off schedule yesterday morning as the busy ferry had been assisting the OPP as they investigated a home invasion, which took place on Wolf Island in the early morning hours. After 4 a.m. on Thursday, August 22nd, Leeds County OPP officers received reports from homeowners on Road 96 that they had been assaulted by an unknown individual. The individual then left the residence afterwards and has not yet been located. The Leeds OPP crime unit was assisted by the emergency response team, the canine unit, and the forensics identification services unit. Anyone with information related to this home invasion is asked to contact the Leeds County OPP at 1-888-310-1122. United Kingdom-based Undo is partnering with local company Canadian Wollastonite on a mission to remove 1 million tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by 2025. Now all they need are more Ontario farmers. In operation since 2013, Canadian Wollastonite is known for its excellent environmental reputation. This puts them at the scientific forefront of researching Wollastonite's benefits as a carbon capturing soil amendment. Undo is partnering with the Canadian company to make the mineral available at no charge for Ontario farms, and they will even cover the cost of spreading. Kingston Police responded to an unusual incident this past weekend that resulted in the use of the force's canine unit and drone to track and arrest an individual who refused to stop driving a front end loader on McAdoo's Lane without authorization. The report came in at approximately 10 p.m., police said, and officers attended the property where they attempted to stop the piece of heavy machinery. The individual operating the equipment refused to stop and drove to a more isolated area on the property. The Kingston Police K-9 unit and Kingston Police Traffic Unit attended the scene, employing their drone using thermal imaging to observe the suspect. As a result, a 48-year-old individual from Kingston was arrested and charged. Queen's Athletics and Recreation announced yesterday that Scott Federey had been named the head coach of the Queen's Rowing Program. Federey will assume the role of head coach on Monday, August 26, 2024, after spending the last two seasons as an assistant coach for the Gales, including recently serving as chief coach for the men's rowing team, women's rowing team, and the 2023 Summer Racing Program. For more on these stories and other local news, visit kingstonist.com and subscribe. Use my code SARAB2024 for 10% off.